Welcome back everyone, Ryan here for another instalment. We've got something fun to look at today. As you can see, Jess and Riley are on the trampoline. We just built that. It's a bully. We're going to rate it, tell you how to build it, and let you know if it's for you. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. We've got a installment today of how to build the Vooly Ultra trampoline, as well as our opinion on it and if we'd recommend it to our friends and family. So the way this came was in five boxes and the, the postage time was pretty good. We're here in Australia, it took five or six business days from the time we purchased it to the time it turned up, which I was pretty impressed with because these boxes are all pretty heavy, five of them, and to get them in the middle of a pandemic that quickly, I was reasonably impressed. So one recommendation I'd make when you're building this is to have a helping hand. Thankfully, Jess was here to give us a hand in building this because doing it on your own, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but it would be rather difficult in certain spots. Um, the other hot tip, follow the instructions, which most of the time we did. Every now and then we, we thought we'd give it a go on our own and we always made a mistake. So make sure you've got someone that's, that's happy to look at the instructions. The nice thing is it also comes with this special tool to help along the process and I'd, I'd recommend using it. It makes the job a whole lot easier. So at this point in time, we're just putting the first points of contact on and it is really tempting just to go and go your own way here, just whack all the springs in and try and build it, but really follow the instructions here because you're going to have to take these springs in and out a couple of times as the trampoline weaves in and out of itself. And you'll see this in a minute. It's not yellow, orange thing has something to do with it. How are you going, Riley? Is it fun? I'm finding another spring for mum. Can I find another spring for mum? How are you finding the build, Jess? Pretty good. Pretty simple instructions. You just got to read them properly. <laughs> uh, a few fails along the way, but we figured it out. So the next part is we're going to put all these springs in through the net, and then we're going to attach them all, which comes with a handy tool, but it is a bit hard on the hands. So you can see the trampoline starts to weave in and out of itself. So follow the instructions, take it step by step. Uh, and you won't come up against any issues. One of the things we noticed here, just for the first timers here, these springs alternate from above and below attachment points. Uh, you, you'll find that reasonably quickly when you try to do it too quickly. All right, we've got all the springs in. Pretty hard going, make sure you've got a good set of gloves for them. And now we're putting the padding on. Bring it, or swing it around till we find the holes to match up with the T joints. You found any holes? So this is where we're going to have it for now. We are going to redesign this backyard a bit more and make a bit more space for it. Uh, but but here's a good amount of space. Net pole is square at the bottom, and then rest the completed net pole against the T frame. This is probably the easiest part of the process I found. These were all in one box, reasonably already assembled, and it's simply just attaching the netting to the top of it and lifting it up. So once again, really handy having an extra person, but these went in so well. And the great thing about this is there's no screws or pins or anything like that that you need to fiddle with. It just slides and slots in and locks in place. So we've got most of it constructed as you can see. It's looking pretty good. We just got to put a roof on now. And then it's jumping time. All right. So we've got this optional extra, which is a shade for the roof. Uh, for the little kids, it doesn't really impede on anything. It just protects them from the sun. But for those that are a bit bigger, just a heads up, you will jump into it. It's reasonably low. And um, when I'm jumping on it, you'll probably see in a moment, my head knocks into it. Not that it's an issue. It probably tells me I should calm down a bit. But just something to consider. If you've got older kids that are really into jumping high, you're probably not gonna need, or you're not gonna want this in the way because it's gonna impede that ability to jump higher. <laughs> Woo! 
Woohoo! Is it fun? Yeah. What do you think of the trampoline? Um, it's so bouncy and I always want one for my birthday. Do you like the trampoline? Yeah. Tell me about the trampoline. What do you like about it? So final impressions on the Viewly. What do you think, Matilda? Did you like the trampoline? Well, she wanted to be involved, but she's got to be sh a bit shy. Uh, but I think it's a great thing. It is it is on the expensive side for trampolines, but I guess looking at it, it's made well, it's constructed well. Uh, I like the safety features on it as well. I can send the girls out there quite comfortably knowing that they're not gonna fall off the edge uh, and not gonna get pinched in springs and things like that. So. If you're looking for a good trampoline, I'd suggest this is one to go for. What do you think, Matilda? Are you happy to say anything this time? Not this time. Well, if you want to keep following us on this journey, feel free to subscribe and like the video, and more people will see it.